Turn your everyday cooking pot into a witch's cauldron by making a Yule simmer pot. This is a great way to bring in Yule magic without anyone even noticing that you're casting a spell. It brings in the spirit of Yule while filling your home with the aroma of the season. It is also totally edible and can be drank as a magical Yule Thai tea, infusing your body and spirit with Yule magic. You can do this on your own or before you have guests arriving to infuse the air with the aroma of Yule and all of its witchy magic. Today, I'm going to take you through the simple kitchen tools that you will need, plus the easy steps to take to create your own Yule simmer pot for this magical season. Kitchen witchery has never been so easy to infuse into your Yuletide festivities. Plus, we get to create cauldron magic with this spell. Hi, I'm Rebecca Phoenix, and I am a magical teacher for Simple Mystic Miracles. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to make an easy, fun, and discreet Yule Simmer Pot. If you love learning fun witchy tips like these, like this video, subscribe to our magical channel, and turn on your post notifications so you always catch new witchcraft lessons from us. So for step one, we're just gonna turn our normal kitchen pot, any kitchen pot will do, that's enough to simmer some water and all of your ingredients in there. You're just going to set an intention that this is going to become your witch's cauldron and that it's gonna be filled with magic. So that's how we're gonna turn our everyday kitchen pot into a magical witch's cauldron. So just rub your hands together, really feel all of that magical energy that courses through you all the time innately just feel it rushing through your hands and then just hold it over that pot really intending to infuse this pot with all that gorgeous witchy magic that you have running through your veins and just really pushing that into the pot creating a yule magic bubble all around this cauldron now right now we're turning it into the cauldron just really pushing that energy in. Okay, now we've turned our basic kitchen pot into a witch's cauldron. So next we're gonna go over our very simple kitchen ingredients and their magical correspondence. Number one, cranberries. These are obviously very wonderful for Yule time and they help increase our energy, healing, and they bring in love. So you can substitute these for pomegranate seeds, which are also red and also in season. And then we are also going to need some apple slices you see here I use I'm using a whole apple I sliced it uh, sideways so that you can actually see the star that's in the middle because it's a five-pointed star wonderful way to bring in some extra witchy magic and the apples are for knowledge and wisdom of spirit and love and you're also going to need a cinnamon stick so this is for consecration of what we're creating as well as cleansing for the Yule season and it's going to amplify our magic and bring in some warmth during these cold winter nights. And if you don't have a cinnamon stick, that's okay. You can use ground cinnamon, or you can also use pumpkin pie spice, which has cinnamon in it and also has nutmeg, which is also going to go in here. So pumpkin pie spice can make it smell really good if you have that instead. And then we're going to need some orange slices. So I just have a couple here. Um, you can use as many as you want. I'm using blood orange because it's red and makes it a little more Yule energy, but any kind of orange will do. Um, and this is to represent the divine masculine and the return of the sun. So that's what Yule's all about is celebrating the solstice and the return of the sun. Um, so you can also use any other kind of citrus slice like lemon or grapefruit, anything that really invokes the power of the sun. And then next we're going to be using some nutmeg. So nutmeg is to celebrate the return of the Oak King. So the Oak King returns and um, is triumphant over the Holly King. And that's that's what Yule is also celebrating uh, for the winter solstice. So the Oak King brings the promise of spring. And so we're celebrating him with nutmeg. And it's also to solidify our oaths. So to really solidify the oaths that we're making for our new year. At the end of this year, we always make promises to ourselves of how our next year is going to be. So this will really solidify those oaths. And then we're going to be using some peppermint oil because what could be more yule than some peppermint, right? As a very uh, like candy canes. Um, so this is for purification, renewal, abundance, prosperity, and happiness. So you could throw in some mint leaves instead if you have some front fresh mint leaves or anything that's really refreshing, wintergreen, minty things. And then we're gonna add in a bay leaf or two for our protection, to really create some protection during these darker winter months. Um, and you can use, you can substitute cloves for this if you would like. 
And then we're also going to be using some water. I recommend filtered water, especially if you're going to be drinking this as a tea, but also just because it's a cleaner, crisper water that brings in that intention as well. And water is all about accepting change. So the cycles of nature with winter, that's one that we have to go through. And that really helps to remind us to go inward and to accept change. And that that's all that we can ever count on in life is change. So water is really gonna represent us accepting the change that comes into our life daily. And then of course your pot to create your cauldron magic and then I, a little spoon so that you can stir your ingredients together. Okay, now that we've gone over all of our ingredients, let's start to create our Yule Simmer pot. So each time we put an ingredient in, we're going to set a strong intention first before we put it in. So we're not just throwing things in, we're intentionally putting in each item and we're going to have a little phrase, a little chant, a little spell for each one to create magic in this pot. So for the cranberries, before you put the cranberries in, you can say something like cranberry of might, add healing with your bright love and energy. Really feel that infused into the cranberries before you put them in and then drop those in. And then for your apple slices, you can say something like Apples of wisdom bring insights and courage of love to the heart. Really feel that infusing into your apples. And then drop each slice in. Really holding those intentions still. Really feeling all that Yule magic around you as well. And then next we're going to add our cinnamon stick. You can say something like, Sacred cinnamon, consecrate and cleanse my space to amplify the magic of the Yule season. And then we're going to add some nutmeg and you can say something like i celebrate the hope of your return oak king bring solid foundations for the o's i make to the highest good for my soul and then add as much as you want in there i like a lot of nutmeg so it makes it smell really good and then next we're going to add our peppermint oil just a drop or two is plenty you can say something like refreshing peppermint cleanse and purify as you renew our spirits bring in abundance prosperity and happiness Next, we are going to add our orange slices, and we can say something like, orange of light, bring back the day and fill our lives with life and warmth again. Drop those in. And then next, we're going to put our bay leaf in. And you can say something like, surround our home, enjoy, and shield us from any malintent. Drop those in. And now all of your magical ingredients have been put into your pot. So... Next, we're going to boil some water and put that in our pot to simmer. I love how beautiful and yule and witchy it looks. Don't you guys love that? I love it, okay. So then you're going to add your boiling water to your cauldron here, to your uh, ingredients. And alternatively, you could also just fill this with water and turn it on and boil it if you wanted to as well. Just really fill up that whole pot. So as you add your hot water, you could say something like, water who brings life, remind me of the grace and accepting the changes of each season. My body aligns with the cycles of nature, help to soften the flow. Be careful because those cranberries might pop a little. So after you've added your hot water, you're just going to let the water simmer. So you're going to turn your pot on and you're going to put it down to a simmer. It's literally why it's called a simmer pot. It's like a wet incense. It's going to let that aroma start to release. So as we're letting the water simmer, we're releasing the magic through the aroma and steam created by all of your magical herbs. So you can inhale the scent and feel the Yule magic that you just created using this cauldron magic. A witch's cauldron truly is powerful. So this is also really great to do right before guests come over to really infuse your house with that beautiful, magical Yule smell, really put everybody in the mood for the season. And then they're also going to really be impacted by this beautiful magic that you created, whether they realize it or not. And your whole home is going to be infused with that gorgeous magic that you created through your intentions. And if you want, you can also give it a good stir. It's really start to release all of that steam. Oh man, it smells amazing as I'm doing it, but you're just really going to release the magic by doing that as well. So you can intentionally stir it nine times. 
I like to do things in nine. Or you can pick a number that feels best to you. So let this simmer for as long as you want, as long as it smells amazing. And as a bonus, you can even strain these herbs and drink it as a tea as well, as I mentioned before, which... Ugh. Amazing, tastes incredible. So for more witchy tips like these, visit all of our wonderful links below, which are filled with tons of witchcraft goodies. And remember to like this video if you want more witchy tips like this and subscribe to our channel and turn your post notifications on so that you can continue to hone your craft with us. Blessed be.